It is nighttime check. I just like to come out at night. Um, even though in nice weather, we let them use the stalls as a run in. I still like to take a night to them and give them hay for the night. Because it is so dark. <laughs> you can't. No one can see you. It's just that dark. What does it like to do his business in the pasture? I don't, I don't know. I guess it makes my life easier. And it's a mess in here because I have been keeping up with cleaning because every time we do and it's messy again. Hey sleepy eyes. Hey sleepy eyes. Hey sleepy eyes. Hi. Where's your buddy? Huh? Where's your buddy? Okay. I'm going to hang hay mats. I actually pre-fill them to make my evening chores easier. And actually I don't want to keep the door too open because then Mr. Wesley likes to hop in the stalls. And here comes Doc. Hey buddy. Hey hey. You ready for your hay? I keep the hay. Actually, this is my hay room because I did not want a loft. Um, ended up being probably cheaper to just build it all on one level. And also it's so much easier come stacking time and when using it. Oh, I just flickered away. And the dog's eating cat food. Hey, quit that. No, that's not good for you. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've got my hay here in the hay room because I don't really care for having hayloft. Um, it wasn't really, I don't know if necessarily it wasn't in the budget for me because I didn't really think of it because I have rented a barn that had a hayloft and was paying in the rear. We actually used one of the empty stalls to keep the hay in. So when I built my barn, I just went with a hay room and it's actually 16 by 12. And in the beginning of summer, when I did my first cut, this is actually all hay from my pastures, my two other pastures that I don't use during the winter. Um, and we got about over 200 bales. And we are in uh, February 5th now, going into February 5th, and I still have all this hay left. And I've been feeding them in their stalls um, at night, just to, I'm sorry, during the day when they're in the summer. During the summer, I've been feeding them in their stalls hay from this since July and they've been eating from it all winter so i think they're doing pretty good and feeding them out of hay bags because um i know a lot of people believe that and it's true that it's better to feed them from the ground but our guys have been fed from hay nuts for years and they seem to be doing okay plus there's less waste and it gives them something to do and they don't sit there gorging they'll actually walk around and go outside and do other things and then come back and nibble hay so it encourages them to do other things and I already have these filled, so all I have to do is just put them in the stalls. <laughs> Doc. Okay, first, excuse my jammy pants. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ignore my silly jump pants. It's my time. <laughs> Snuggling, now there's only one. Tags. These boys are brothers, actually. And they don't particularly care for the dog, who um, is always with me usually, but I watch who's gonna chase him, and I don't particularly care for that, but. Wesley, come here, baby. Leave him alone. Nah.
Where did you go? Wesley, come on, let's go inside the house. Let's say good night night. Let's go night night, come on. Let's go. Good boy. And that's really it for night check. It's super quick, super easy. Um, I have the bags pre-filled usually, or if it's been cold through the day and they've been grazing in their stalls um, instead of outside in the field, um, then I'll have to pick up some pee and poo, which is fine, not that big a deal. Um, and then they pretty much use their stalls as run-ins when the weather is nice like tonight. It's gonna be really pretty. And so I'd really like to do a morning routine video and something more fun than these like really basic videos. But you know, it's just for fun. So if you have any ideas, feel free to give them to me. But if I do a morning routine, it's gonna have to be on the weekend because even though I work from home, I do have meetings that I have to get um, started around 9 a.m. So I literally run in, get the stalls done, get the horses done, make sure all the animals are taken care of, and then barely have time for myself before I go in and get the meeting started. And half the time I take the meetings out here in the barn. But that concludes this really quick video. Um, please ignore my blemishes. I am not wearing makeup, and I've got some gross ass pimples going on right now. So, whatever. It is what it is. This is not a makeup channel, so <laughs> this is just whatever. I'll deal with it, you'll deal with it. And if you like it, feel free to subscribe. I'll post more videos, and if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know. All right, see you later.